This is a demonstration of a PC meter I built, which displays the current CPU load and memory usage on a computer. The meter itself is using an Arduino Leonardo microcontroller to drive two 1 milliamp ammeters and two bicolor LEDs. The LEDs are normally green and turn red when the value of either CPU load or memory usage is at 80% or higher. And then all that is housed inside a Surpac 17S case, which was just about the right size for the ammeters. The Arduino is receiving the data through the virtual serial port from a application running on the computer that I developed in csharp.net. The application is down here in the bottom left corner of the screen. You'll probably have to view the video in HD to see it, but it has a CPU load, memory usage, lets you choose a serial port, and has options for it to connect to the serial port on start and to start in the system tray. This way you could have it load with the Windows startup and immediately connect and minimize so it would be out of the way. To demonstrate it, I've got a couple instances of CPU burn-in running. If I start one, CPU usage jumps to about 50% because I've got a dual-core CPU. If I start another instance, it jumps to 100% and the LED for CPU turns red. If I quit that, we're back down to 50%. I've got a Firefox window open which has several tabs running. If I close that, we'll see that memory usage drops down. The device will constantly look for serial input. If it doesn't find any, it'll go into kind of a screensaver mode. So I've disconnected the serial and now it'll just start moving the needles back and forth in opposite directions. Once communication is reestablished, it starts picking up the values again and displaying them on the meters. That's about all there is to it. If you'd like to see how I built it or get the source code for either the Arduino program or the C-Sharp application, I have that all available on my website. The link is below. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to get them. Please leave them in the comments. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks.